Okay, for chain stitch, we need to start by making a slip knot. How I do that is I fold the end of the yarn over so the end is going in front of the main part of the, the yarn and then fold that up back on itself and catch that middle strand, pull it tight. Okay, never have your hook, your, your yarn on your hook too tight. It needs to be able to move freely on your hook. Right. Now, I find the easiest way to hold the yarn for working is like that. So I put it across these two fingers, wrap it round my little finger, and using my thumb, my forefinger, I hold on to the knot. Okay, so your hook can then move freely to catch the yarn. Okay, so for a chain stitch, all you're going to do is yarn over the hook. So if ever in a, a pattern asks you to go yarn over, that's what you're doing. And pull it through. And that is a chain stitch. And you just keep going like that until you have enough chain stitches for whatever it is you're making. On a chain stitch, if you have a look, the front of your chain stitch will have this V pattern on the stitches and the back of the stitch has a line of ridges. Okay, so if you're ever asked for the front, that's the front and that's the back. Okay, so that's it for the chain stitch and we'll have a look at um, some new stitches next time. Goodbye.